Hey, and welcome to Pick a Card. My name is Heather, and this is the Fluffy Oracle. Today's Pick a Card is going to be all about where you will be in the next five years, or leading up to the next five years as well. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest if it does not, and please don't try to force it to your situation. I'm changing it up again just a little bit, so I'm using three objects for you to choose from, which we have the Selenite Crystal, the Ocean Vodka Bottle, and a new little froggy that's a sodalite frog that my brother gave me a few years ago that I kind of forgot about that I found the other day. So I want you to feel for this one, I really want you to pay attention to your intuition and really feel out which one or which object draws you the most for your guidance. And hopefully that will help you get the most out of this reading and resonate as well a little bit more than what it normally would. I would also like to take the time now to say thank you to all those who have tipped or donated to the channel. It has helped out quite tremendously and for your continued support as well. I absolutely am so grateful and so thankful to you guys. And thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing out my videos. And to all those who are new here, please feel free to consider joining our happy family. And um, I would also like to take the time out to say if anyone would like to book a personal reading with me, all that information will be down below as well in the description because I have some extra openings this week. So please feel free to hit me up and let me know if you'd like a personal reading. So without further ado, we will go ahead and jump in in just a second with the Selenite Wand. Also, if you are interested interested in any of these decks and knowing which ones they are or purchasing them i will have some affiliate links down below for your convenience to check them out as well in the description and also as well as in the first comment with the timestamps for those for the my uh for my mobile users so i will see you in just a sec all right so for my loves who chose the selenite wand piece let's see what we get for where you're going to be in the next five years So for the tarot, we have the Eight of Wands, Four of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups for an overview. So with this, I feel like there's going to be a job where there's going to be a lot of communication, a lot of fast-pacedness to it, and <clears throat> I feel like there's going to be a lot of communication with this job because we have the Page of Cups and the Eight of Wands and then the Four of Pentacles being in the middle. I feel like this person's going to want to hold back a little bit with communication if it comes to partnerships as well. And then I also feel like there's going to be some sort of job that involves trying to save quite a bit of money almost like a banking job as well as what I get with this for some people out there who are interested in becoming um, a bank teller or just some sort of banking or money type of job and I feel like um, I also hear like sales with um, teaching people how to save money or like consolidate their credit I know it seems kind of funny but this is what I'm getting so I'm just giving you what I'm getting and then I also feel like there's going to be some new love coming in and them reaching out to, for um communication for you as well in the next five years or where you might end up in the next five years so for our oracle cards we have compass open or yeah open <laughs> deep freeze and commitment so when I when I hear open I feel like when I saw this, I felt like there needed to be some more open-mindedness so that you can be open to commitment when it comes in so that it can lead you in the right direction instead of heading in the right direction and ending up stuck somewhere and feeling left out in the cold instead of having a commitment. So with the compass card, I feel like if you make the decision, you will definitely be headed in the right direction so that you can take and be open to this commitment when it does come in and when it is offered to you. And I also feel like it will help you get out of this feeling of being stuck as well before that five years hits. So this is the time now to actually take and dethaw yourself is what I get with this card. 
and to learn how to open up so that you can be ready for this commitment that comes in over the next five years. We have fulfillment, love, and individuality. So with this, I feel it's a once in a lifetime love and commitment that will be coming in for you over the next five years. And I feel it's going to be a very fulfilling and rewarding relationship as well and everything that you've ever asked for and dreamed of. And I feel like it's going to be very satisfying, especially with the newness of it. <clears throat> and I feel like that this person is very unique and very open-minded and very sweet-natured as well. So let's see what we get for some last advice cards. And then I'll go back over and see if there's anything else I get. We have the soul fool. The soul fool's wisdom, do what feels right. <clears throat> So with this, I feel like going within and doing a lot of soul searching is what's going to be needed to help you get through this and to help you stay and remain open hearted and open minded to this new relationship coming in. And then we have the purposeful, the fool's wisdom, live prosperously or live prosperously. Yeah, <laughs> live purposefully. Sorry. <laughs> But I feel like this relationship and everything else is going to help you to be living prosperous, prosperously in that next five years, especially if you stay focused and remain on target as well and definitely headed in the right direction because I feel like that that's um, connected to the compass card. And especially with that four of coins, I feel like if you're able to save enough money over the next five years, you will definitely be living prosperously. I can't even say the word. <laughs> prosperously. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry, guys. It's too early in the morning for me. Anyway, the faithful, the fool's wisdom, have faith. So definitely take a leap of faith with this new relationship that will be coming in for you over the next five years is going to be what's needed. And also have faith and remain strong in knowing that this will come in, especially if you want it to come in. Having a positive mindset with positive affirmations will also help you to have it come in. So that's everything I get for your messages. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading. And I will see you next video. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing to my videos. I do have some open spots if you would like to book a personal reading with me if you have any further questions. And that information will be down below for you. And also I would like, like to uh, take a second to say thank you to all those who have been donating to the channel and booking with me. You guys have been absolutely wonderful and amazing. And it helps me out so much. So thank you and I will see you next video. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the Ocean Vodka bottle, let's see what we get for where you guys are going to be in the next five years or leading up to it. So for the tarot cards, we have the Four of Cups, Seven of Cups, and the Five of Swords. So with this, I feel like you're going to have a lot of choices in the next five years and a lot of offers for love coming into you but I also feel like some of them you may not see coming and as far as the five of swords I feel like there's going to be some um battles that might actually challenge you quite a bit and some that may feel like kind of like wanting to give up but don't give up because know that you have these options as well you have options with everything, whether it's in love, life, business, whatever, you have options. Just remember that you will have options at that time and to be able to make that the um, right choice so that you can avoid any of these arguments or like battles that tend to come up and to help you not feel so defeated and to overcome them. And to also pay attention to any love offers that may be coming in or things that might be in plain sight as well that may be offered to you. So keep an eye out for opportunities with love and also with career opportunities that will be presented as well. So for our oracle cards, we have confidence, understanding, and the fledgling. So I feel like 
You're going to have a newfound confidence in yourself and a new self-understanding as well because I feel like you're going to be opening up way more to spirit as well with some of you out there who are leaning more towards the spiritual path and the in opening up your intuition as well. And I feel like this newness is going to help you have the confidence to move forward into this and to keep going with the um, journey as well. And you are going to have a much clearer and concise understanding as well with being open-minded and open-hearted to going with the flow. We also have coming apart, making a choice, and flying. So with the coming apart card, I feel like with the decisions that you're going to have to make in the next five years, it's going to be quite um, quite the pull in the two different directions with having to make choice. And I feel like it's definitely going to be a head over heart um, type of battle and choice with that. And it's also going to be one that's very liberating as well because it's going to be a very major and important type of choice that's going to help you to free your mind and free you up and have a more sense and overview and help you get out of feeling stuck. Like if you've been feeling stuck in kind of like a maze, kind of like just run of the mill going through the motions, that type of deal, I feel like once you are able to make this choice, it's going to help you to have a more free sense of feeling and be able to flow easier with everything. And I feel like this choice will be definitely necessary as well in the near future. But just remember that you still have all these options. So for some extra guidance, we have the law fool know the law with this i feel like it's more of decision making and making the right decision that's going to be most needed for you and paying attention to all the little details as well so that you can make the right decision and the right choice when the time comes the breathless fool stop thinking and start breathing so with this i feel like What's going to be most needed to help you during that time with making these decisions is to take a moment to yourself and actually go within. And even if you have to take and do like a little one minute meditation breathing exercise, that'll help you get um, centered and to make these important decisions as well and help bring you back to center. So we have the stressful breathe. So definitely with the one minute meditation breathing exercise is going to be most needed to give you the strength and to come back in to censor and to help make that right decision for you. And it will help give you the boost of confidence and push you down further the path and help to keep you going and to give you the strength with that. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated and that they help you. Um, thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing to my videos. I do have some extra bookings. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, all that information is down below for your convenience. And I would also like to say thank you to all those who have been donating and tipping to the channel. It has helped me tremendously. Thank you guys so much. And I love you all. And I will see you next video. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose the Soda Light Frog, let's see what we get for where you're going to be in the next five years or leading up to the next five years. So for the Tarot, we have the Knight of Cups. Ooh, new love rushing in. We have Queen of Wands. Lots of fiery passion and energy. And then we have the Chariot. So this is going to be a very fast-paced relationship that's coming in is what I feel over the next five years or in five years from now. And I feel like this person is going to have some cancer in their chart and also some fire and like with like Sagittarius is what I hear for their energies in their chart. And then I also get a little bit of Pisces as well, possibly in their chart. So with this Knight of Cups that's rushing in, I feel like this new love that's coming in for you is going to come in very quickly. I feel he's going to be a very passionate, fiery person. And I also feel like this relationship is going to go very quickly but very successfully as well in the right direction and I also feel like you might end up also having kind of a choice as well 
but I feel like you'll make the right one and I feel like it'll lead to a very stable, um, fulfilling relationship at that time. So let's see what we get for our Oracle cards. We have encouragement, home, and metamorphosis. So I feel like this relationship, when it comes in, it's going to cause a massive transformation for you and change in your life because I feel like this is going to be a very um, serious commitment with the encouragement card. And I feel like it'll also give you the next step if you are already in a current relationship with moving in with each other if you haven't done so already and going deeper in a level of commitment with the relationship as well. And once you also take that deeper level of commitment, it'll definitely help uh, bring more transformation in between the two of you and your relationship and bring you even closer together. So we also have strength. I feel like this relationship is going to be a very supportive one and it's going to be um, one that helps to keep you gr quite grounded as well with each other. We have listening. So with this card, I feel like listening to each other's um, heart to heart conversations is going to be much needed to help get to um, know each other on a deeper, more committed level as well. Even if this is a new relationship or a more committed one, listening to each other is going to be most important at that time. And we have success. I hear some graduations. So if those of you who are in school, I hear you are going to be graduating with some high honors or at least some very high grades. And congratulations on that because we have the congratulations thing in this and I feel like you will be getting a nice awesome degree for those of you who are in college so congratulations with that as well when that happens over the next five years or in the next five years <clears throat> from now so we also have the high priestess of earth so with this I feel like you're going to be a very grounded, powerful individual who knows exactly what they want in life and what they want to do to move forward with this new achievement with their um, success and graduation with their degree. I feel like this is a major career choice as well. It's going to be coming in for you. And that's also going to cause a major transformation with you. And I feel like it will help to get you the home of your dreams as well in the next five years. So this is my encouragement for you. <laughs> Ends the encouragement card. So let's get you some extra um, guidance from the fool's wisdom. We have the peaceful. Peace is only a breath away. So with this, I feel like taking the time to relax and enjoy this um, journey is what's going to be most needed over the next five years or in the next five years as well. And then we have sober up. Don't party too much. Just kidding. Party as much as you like, but remember, stay safe as always and practice um, being safe within yourself and knowing your surrounding as well if you're going to go out drinking, for those of you who do like to go out. So, but um, I feel like having a more kind of like soberful mind is going to be most needed so that you can stay with your head in the game and stay focused and concentrated so a little bit less partying if you're in school might be most needed but I'm not going to tell you what to do or not to do so it's just a suggestion that's all it is and then we have trust your intuition with the deceitful so with this I feel like walking with blind faith might be a little bit risky hence the sober up. So don't take any unnecessary risks. Try and keep your eyes on the prize and stay focused as much as you can and also listen to your intuition because it's going to be most needed at that time and during the next few years as well, as usual. So these are your messages. I do hope that um, you enjoyed this reading and that they resonated with you. I do have some open bookings left for the week if you would like to book a personal reading with me and kind of get an expansion for anything you most need to know or want to ask, whether it be love, career, or whatever it is based, my rates and um, things for that and information will be down below in the description box. I would also like to say thank you to all those who have been very generous with, um, generous with tipping and donating to the channel. It has helped me out quite a lot. And 
I will see you guys next video. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing as well and for joining me. Have a great one.